Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and we are stitching a new free motion quilting filler design today called New Phone Cord. So, of course, telephone cords are hard to find these days, but I can remember being a kid, and whenever we would get a new telephone cord, it was always wanting to tangle up so badly. So you start this design with a wiggly, loopy line, and then simply travel stitch and echo it to expand the design. You can go around it as many times as you want. Now, I was just doing some ruler quilting, which is why I've got my ruler foot attached. Keep in mind that whenever you're ruler quilting, so long as you have your ruler foot attached, you can switch from free motion quilting to ruler quilting seamlessly or breaklessly. I don't know if that's a thing, but you don't have to break thread. You don't have to change feet. A ruler foot is a type or a style of darning foot. So you can switch nicely and easily from free motion quilting to ruler quilting. That's exactly what I did. The downside is a ruler foot is just a little bit harder to see the needle to be able to do that travel stitching. But you know, with more practice, you're gonna get the hang of it. It's not a big deal. And I really like to see how this is coming together. I think that little loopy line on the inside really looks nice. Let me talk you through the design one more time just so that you get the hang of it. Stitch a wiggly loopy line and you can make that as long or as wiggly as you want. I could have brought that out and filled in that whole corner if I wanted to, no big deal. Travel stitch along a previously stitched line. That could be the edge of your quilting space. That could be a previously, you know, outer stitch line of another new foam cord shape. Anything is fair game with this design. It's a clustering style design. So you have to kind of build the designs off of one another and then travel stitch and echo again as many times as you want. You could do that five times, two times, one time, totally up to you. There's no right or wrong amount. The number of echoes you add will change the look of the design. So if you only do one, you're gonna end up with one look. If you do multiple ripples, it's gonna look more ripply. So fun stuff, lots of stuff to play with with this. So I'm now I've got a little weird area, so I'm just gonna kind of stitch my way out with a very narrow new foam cord shape and then travel stitch and echo it. Now I'm out of that weird area and I can form a much bigger shape. So as for the scale of this design, I did shrink the scale just a little bit because I wanted to fit in multiple repeats of the design into this area. But understand that you can expand this, you could use it as an all over bed fill, you could use it shrunken down and stitched very, very tiny scale too. So really anything that you wanna do with it, whether it's for an art quilt, a bed quilt, a baby quilt, a throw quilt, it's entirely up to you. So here's what it looked like whenever I finished new phone cord. And if you'd like to follow along with this fun little quilt project I'm working on, check it out at leahday.com decorate. Until next time, let's go quilt.